Hello everyone, how's it going? It's Sway. I am back with you. We are doing a patch notes video because we just got a very important patch drop today. It's going live a little bit later today. Actually, by the time you see this, it's probably already gone live, but we're going to review it for you so you know what to expect. Let's go. We are going to start with the dev comment at the top of the battleground section. We've made changes to landlubber and some economy related spells to address an unintended play pattern where players could stay on low tiers and buy dozens of spells in a turn. We've also adjusted Hawkstrider Herald and removed Titus's tribute to lower the frequency and power spikes of late game beast strategies. So we know how volatile the lubber comp got at one point, and I'm really glad that this is being addressed. We know it got banned and now it's back. Not to mention Titus's tribute can lead to some really insane power spikes for one turn removing opponents. Um, it's almost like, uh, dare I say Diablo, <laughs> when Diablo had those uh, four, eight, 12 turns and spiked and played all the spells, felt pretty similar to that. So I'm happy that Titus's tribute is being removed. And I think that's going to make death rattle comps just feel a little bit more balanced because right now they are insanely strong. And that's kind of the same thing with, uh, with the chicken getting that little nerf on Hawkstrider Herald. But let's get into those changes. We are starting with Arklich Kalthazad. Now this is a change, but it's only a text only change. At the end of your turn, destroy the undead to the left of this and resummon it. And now it's resummon an exact copy. Just to clarify a little bit more of what Kalthazad does. Moving on, we have Moreau's Steward of Death. This used to be a six one that gave plus two plus six and got a little bit of a nerf at five one and gives plus one plus five. Now we know the pretty insane interaction with Kalthazad and you could get really just very strong power spikes, really strong undead boards. So hopefully this is enough of a nerf because we saw a buff and now we're seeing a little bit of a nerf. Moving on, we have Hawkstrider Herald, which we knew we were going to be seeing a nerf from the dev comment, but this is going from tier five, five, two to tier six, six, two. I think that it does feel kind of bad to triple into it on tier six, but it is more often useful than it's not. And it definitely helps a lot of those death rattle comps. So this may slow down that really good Hawkstrider power spike a little bit. Next up here, we have the Mystic Spore Bat. This used to be a five one and now it is a three one. It doesn't super impact since it still is on tier four, but it is a little bit less good to take now because it doesn't trade as well, especially on tier four. But the gain of the spell is still there. So it's kind of like at what cost? And the best boy is back. We have Land Lubber back now, but instead of being a tier two, three four is now a tier three, four, five, and it is Back to the minion pool, I really enjoyed playing Lubber, and it wasn't even necessarily the Lubber strategy of staying on two, I just really liked the minion, it's adorable, and does a lot of really good things for your comps and your comp development, so happy to see it back. Up next we have the Moon Bacon Jazzer. We're seeing a little bit of a buff to this pretty important quill board. it's going from a 1-3 to a 2-3. That makes it feel a little less bad to take, it's still was something that I very regularly do take in the game because having buff gems is never really a bad thing. And it can offer just some incremental scaling in the middle of the turns when you need to like cycle a sun bacon because you have the availability to, or you just end up with a gem because your gas coiler summoned uh, the undead quillbore that I can't remember the name of right now. But this stat line isn't overpowering by any means and definitely feels a lot better to take on turn three when you're on two for the first time and you have this shop. And there it is, 2-3. This right here for Rugug is a massive, massive buff. Rugug used to be a 3-6. Whenever a gem is played on this, play a blood gem on a different friendly minion. Now it is a 4-6 with divine shield. Whenever a blood gem is played on this, play a blood gem on a different friendly minion. So it now has divine shield. That is amazing. Rugug already had a few really crazy late game things, especially with those buff gems. And now with the divine shield, that is even better. Continuing on the Quillbore buff train, we have Prickly Piper, which is going from a 3-1 to a 5-1. So the stats that Sporebat is losing, the Prickly Piper is gaining. This already felt pretty okay to take, and it does feel even better now to take with the same functionality that it used to have. And even more Quillbore, we have the paint. 
smudger. This is a 3-2, and now it's a 5-3. So if you triple into it or if you find it on 3, the stat line on 3 feels much better to take. I personally really enjoyed the paint smudger with the lubber for the very, very brief time that we had it. And with both lubber and paint smudger being on tier 3, I'm excited to try this again. Now it looks like we're moving into some spell buffs. We are starting with Fleeting Vigor. This used to be a tier 4 give a minion plus 6 plus 6 until the next turn, and now it is a tier 3 give a minion plus 7 plus seven until the next turn. I think it went up a tier or two and now it's down again. Uh, it definitely is one of those incremental spells which feels pretty good to take. It does lead to a little bit of a power spike, but right now I'm using it in the case of like, oh, I found this Rivendir that I want to keep alive. I just found it. It's a 1-7. Haven't had a chance to buff it yet. So little, little conditional situations like that where you may need just a little bit more health and attack on a minion to keep it alive. Next, we have Shiny Ring, which has gone from tier 3 to tier 2. Now is Okay, on tier 3 it was kind of helpful, especially when I greeted a little bit and didn't have the strongest minions needed. A little bit more survivability, this came in pretty clutch for that. Um, on tier 2 it's kind of interesting because you don't necessarily want to keep the minions that you have when you're on tier 2 per se till the end of the game. Not that this really helps that much where you're like, wow, these are very strong minions and now I don't want to get rid of them. So it might just help with just a little incremental buff on the way to your final comp. Next up is Staff of Enrichment, and this went from three gold to two gold. So this is almost like a Felimental buff, uh, but it is a little bit better than a Felimental buff. Does not cost the same, but... This is a nice cost for this card, I think. At three gold, when you weren't able to, you know, consistently reuse it the way that you are a felemental between the spell that procs battle cries again, or having Rylak or Young Murkai in, it was a one and done. And at two gold, I feel like I'm a lot more inclined to use this. This is a pretty big change now. We have Primal Staff going from tier four to tier five. So Primal Staff now lives on the same tier as Drakari. But you could be on four and triple into Drakari. But Drakari does take that board space where this spell does not. So I think fair for it to be on tier five and say you just come into a few end of turn minions that you either want for long term or you don't. You just want for that one turn to maybe, you know, the, the smolder wing, outback smolder, the outback smolder to give you a triple or something like that. Uh, I think that this is interesting. This is really interesting for it to move to tier five. Uh, I'm curious if we're going to see the brand spell move to tier 5 as well, but I like this change. I think that this is a good change, especially considering you don't have to sacrifice one of your very important board spots to a Drakari and still get the same effect. As a battle cry enjoyer, this is massive. Dreamer's Embrace, which is triggering a friendly battle cry, is now on tier 4 from tier 5. This is huge. I think that battle cries have been very much not doing well compared to death rattles just because Titus's tribute um, undead is incredibly strong right now beast is incredibly strong right now so this feels really good I'm very excited about this we can triple into a brand and we can just find dreamers embrace in the shops I like it I like it I like it the planar telescope which I realize now I've never actually said the full name of this spell <laughs> went from tier four to tier three it is still four gold but like maybe could be useful if you're looking for specific minions. It is so expensive. And now on tier three, it's, it's I don't know. I don't know. I usually don't stay on tier three long enough to benefit from a spell of this gold value. But also if I really run into some very unfortunate shops, I might go ahead and invest in this. Overconfidence went from tier two to tier three. I will say one of my favorite lines of play so far in this meta has been finding a Briarback bookie and overconfidence on turn three, five gold, because you can buy the bookie, buy the overconfidence and bank it, and then you spike with the bookie, and the following turn you almost always get that value. So that's been very fun for me. And I think that it's probably good to see this go up a tier, considering the very, very positive value of getting that extra gold. Natural Blessing has gone from a 3-2 to a 2-2, two -two, which is very good, I think, because, I mean, we've all played it on a phalanx and buffed an entire shop and felt really good about ourselves, but we probably shouldn't have been doing that. So this being a 2-2 feels a lot more balanced. And we have a pretty important spell pool change here. Reckless Investment, Leaf Through the Pages, and Titus's Tribute have been removed from the spell pool. So as a reminder, Reckless Investment is the gain three gold and then lose two the following turn, uh, which you know, sometimes led to pretty insane power spikes, especially with uh, with Lubber Comp. 
Um, not that it's really viable anymore with Lover Comp, but felt pretty good. And then Leaf Through the Pages was your next three refreshes cost zero. Now this is massive for one hero in particular in my mind. It's massive for Millhouse because this was such a good Millhouse spell considering how expensive rolls are for Millhouse. And I personally always bought them when I saw them while playing him. So I think that this is a really big important change and not only for mouse for every other hero as well not getting those free rolls like you could have used it on a turn where you're going to level the following turn so then you can level by a minion on the next tier up and not really take any you know you don't take extra damage for it because it's the same thing as playing refreshing anomaly but you get to see three full shops which can lead to a nice situation and uh, Titus's tribute we saw in the dev comment was already getting removed I think that this is a really good change because sometimes really insane power spikes and um our rivendare right now is the only one that can stack because it says an extra time on the card so the ability to stack with the spell itself led to even stronger of power spikes and as someone that says that i felt really gross sometimes because i was like oh i should not have spiked that hard i think that this is a really good change so you've now heard what i thought about the changes and let me know in the comments what you think about these changes I have said this before, but I think that the spell's release has been one of the more balanced changes. Of course, we all got a little bit of sick of Lubber, you know, the Lubber situation. Happy that it got banned and fixed. Um, I'm hoping that this is enough of a fix where it's still very fun to play, but not just dead in the water. And I think that it is. But yeah, happy to be back making YouTube videos again. I got a little bit slow of a start to the year. I got sick again. So I, I got both of the uh, both of the strains of the flu, but got healthy, got back into it. And now we're back with our gameplay videos as well. So I will see you tomorrow for our gameplay video with the new patch. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everyone.